Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY barbell that's strong, cheap, and easy to build. Hi, I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. I make DIY instructional videos and on this channel we've already covered how to make concrete weight plates and a weight tree. Now it's time to make a barbell. A few months ago I scoured the internet in search of a cheap DIY barbell design. I tried some of those options with varying results. Then I found a design from Barbell Logic which ticked all the boxes. And I'm gonna show you step by step on how to build it. Here's an overview of the build. The shaft is made from steel pipe. The collar and sleeve is made by layering multiple sizes of PVC piping. Also stick around till the end of the video where we're gonna weight test this barbell. Most of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks. Here are the materials you'll need. And here are the tools. You can use any saw that's capable of cutting pipes, like this hacksaw. Let's start by cutting everything down to size. Welcome to my meth lab. I, I mean workshop. And here's the cut list. You can find this along with the materials and tools in the video description. Here's a tip of the trade for cutting PVC with a circular saw. Get yourself a 140 tooth blade and install it backwards. Also, don't be like this idiot who decided to cut everything inside and made a huge mess. I recommend you do all your cutting outdoors. To build the barbell sleeve, we have to insert each one of these PVC pipes inside of each other. However, you may have noticed that they don't actually fit. So to solve this problem, we need to make one long straight cut down the side of the PVC pipe. We only need to cut the one inch pipe and the one and a half inch pipe. So let's get cutting. Next up, we're gonna cut all three of our pipes in half. This will give us two sleeves for each side of the barbell. Now it's time to assemble the sleeve. We're going to start by sliding the one inch PVC onto the steel pipe. Align your pipe and start hammering. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Using a screwdriver, Pry in between the crack of your one and a half inch pipe. Then twist your screwdriver to make the opening of the pipe larger. Take your one and a quarter inch pipe and insert it in the opening. Once you get the pipe inside, you can remove your screwdriver. Then hammer the pipe down until it's all the way through. You should do this on a solid surface like this concrete because the pipe is a really snug fit. Then insert this piece onto the bar. Now we're going to repeat this same process for the other sleeve. Here we go. Next up is the collar. This is the part of the barbell that stops the plate from moving any forward. Slide your 2 inch tube and position it at the end of the sleeve. Using your drill and 1 eighth of an inch drill bit, we're going to drill some pilot holes for some screws. Make sure not to move the tube once you've drilled the hole. Then we're going to drill our 1 inch metal screws into the hole. The tip of your screw might snap off during this process, but don't worry, it just means that your screw entered through all of the holes. We're going to fasten another screw on the other side of the bar. Now we're going to repeat the same process for the other sleeve. Check this out. This thing is real strong. Don't click off of this video because we're not done yet. We're still missing two very important features on a barbell. Like the markings, which show you where to put your hands on the bar. And the smooth parts of the bar, which prevent it from scraping your knees on deadlifts. These two outer markings are for bench presses. They're 32 inches apart, 
which is the maximum allowed width in powerlifting. These four inner markings will be used as guides later in the video when we're going to sand the pipe. These additions will save your shins. Also, you don't have to worry about bar imbalances anymore. We're going to start by marking the center of our barbell. We can find this by measuring one edge of the collar to the other edge. Then divide that number by two. Use a regular pencil to mark the center. Next, we're going to mark 60 millimeters from the center using a permanent marker. Rotate the pipe while keeping the marker still for a perfect circle. Next, mark 210 millimeters from the center. Then 407 millimeters from the center. We're going to mirror these measurements on the other side. Next, we're gonna use our 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out these two areas. And we're gonna do this by going up and down on the pipe. It's so smooth. It's time to put our bar to the test. But first, we need to find out how much it weighs. 11.3 pounds. I loaded the bar with all the weight that I have, which is 330 pounds. The bar felt pretty solid on my back with minimal bending. Your top comments are going to decide what my next video will be on, so leave a comment below and upvote the ideas you want to see me cover. Also, the goal of this channel is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of April, so hit that subscribe button and let's do this together. Come on, do it! Do it now! Subscribe! What are you waiting for? Please feed the YouTube algorithm by liking this video. I'm very appreciative of your support. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video.